What I want to do today is connect our RunKeeper and Strava apps so that whenever we log a workout in RunKeeper, our data will automatically be uploaded into Strava. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want RunKeeper to trigger my Strava app, I'll need to use RunKeeper as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Activity as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime RunKeeper sees that I've completed a workout, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up RunKeeper, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your RunKeeper account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Strava into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Create Activity and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Strava with Zapier, just like I did with my RunKeeper account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, under Activity Name, I'll type in a custom message. I'll write Today's Run. Next, for Activity Type, I'll select Run on the dropdown. Then, under Activity Start Date Time, I'll select Activity Start Time. And for Activity Elapsed Time, I'll select Activity Duration. Then I'll click Continue. Next, click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever we log a workout in RunKeeper, our data will automatically be uploaded into Strava. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.